Today we will be testing one of the coolest chargers in the world. Uh, this luxury battery cell charger from Sky RC. We was recommended. It was recommended to us by someone who saw our video you know, in the comments and he said he uses this one. Never heard of it before, but we have other Sky RC charger. But this one, this is the shit. It can charge and test anything. And then I mean anything that is cylindrical. It can handle like all existing chemistries. All, even RAM. Uh, rechargeable alkaline batteries. I never even heard of that. But this charger can do that. And like LTO. I didn't even know LTO existed in these kind of small cells. But if you have an LTO cell, you can charge it in here. And it has a long list of cells that it can handle. Probably all cylindrical size that there is. In some of the really large cases you can only fit two batteries at uh, once. So you can only use two channels. And it's so fucking huge. It has such a large box. So I don't know how big the charger is gonna be. Ooh. Luxury. I bought two pieces, I got them at a really nice price. And yes, the charger is huge. <laughs> what a monster. Look at that. Oh, it's upside down now. <laughs> uh, what do we have here? Maybe it's a um, thermal sensor. That would be so cool. Since this one can actually charge like three or four amps then maybe it's good to have a temp sensor to turn it off if the cell gets boiling hot how cool is that 12 to 18 volts nice yeah power cable does it have no it doesn't have built-in ac oh this is a really heavy heavy adapter ac switching adapter it almost looks like a flag 15 volt, 4 amps. Really nice. So, we downloaded the app. It's called the same as the charger. It's connected to my speakers. That's not the Bluetooth you're looking for. Uh, we haven't even turned it on yet. This one is red, so we're gonna connect it. Oh. Dummy mode. I'm gonna have a quick look at the manual. This is a one time setting, a boot setting, and dummy mode is so you can only charge Neem and Lion and none of the different chemistries. But we're gonna go for advanced because we want to charge life before as well. So we want all the functions. Uh, here we have four Panasonic PF cells. On. Oh, it turned red and green. No checking voltage. Program zero. What's program zero? Well, I have entered all of the cells. Uh, you can enter them both at the top. Uh, maybe you can charge two cells at the same time, but you should push them down so that they are connected to the temp sensor. And here you can see the voltage of the cells, and I haven't really figured out how to contrast. Cool. No, it looks like an old uh, Game Boy that has low batteries. <laughs> no, about 15 was okay. Screensaver. Cool. Go out to Bluetooth on. Yes, we're gonna check in the app in a moment. Factory reset, calibration reset, firmware version, hardware version. So, how do we get to select different programs? So, it, it was so easy. You just press the slot to change what program. And program one is lithium ion charge mode. 30 different programs. We want that program, but we want to change it. We want charge and discharge a cycle storage refresh 
uh, charge and discharge. I think that's it. What do you mean with capacity? Current one amps, fine. Discharge current minus zero point five. Sure, let's just go with that. Uh, resetting after uh, charge. Resting cycle count. Um, here you can actually test any 99 different cycles so you can cycle test them 99 times and then you have to probably do it manually target voltage termination restart volt de reduce cutoff voltage 3 this one can actually be a little lower uh, cutoff temp 45 yeah that seems reasonable Oh, and here you can change, can we change program name? And now I think they just have, have numbers. Let's change that to a tested cell. No, we don't have anything, no battery, yes. It's quite tricky to get them in there. So, no battery, program zero, yes, processing. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like that and go refresh my coffee. Zero point twelve amps. So we want to do a cycle like in the little cars. First charge it up, discharge it, and then charge it up again. Start that one on a cycle charge, and it has a different symbol. Yes, those one just have an up arrow probably for charge and this one has a loop-de-loop -loop. and uh, is it charging? Yes, I think there will be a minus sign if it were discharging. Let's look at the app. Bluetooth is on so we should be able to find it. Now it's looking. I have a smart BMS in here also. That must be it. Connected, cool. Now we should able to see what it's doing on the phone so we can check our battery status in the toilet so a visual symbol that is actually charging temperature so fucking cool can we have even more details Uh, about the same details, we had military systems and cycle. Now that one switch to discharge. And now it has a divide signal over here. Doesn't have any current, but the red one seems that it's on. Maybe it had a resting stage for like 20 minutes or so. But this is the Sky RC MC3000. And from what I know, there aren't any China clones of this one yet. So if you buy one, it's gonna be expensive, but it's gonna be an original. From what I can tell, the fans are not uh, activated yet, but we're only charging at three amps totally over here. One cell is a little tired and resting. So most likely they will turn on if it gets too hot. Uh, but if, if you're thinking about, if you're using neem or lithium cells daily and need to charge them fast daily, then this might be something for you. It's extremely expensive, but if you think all these cool functions are worth it, and I think uh, the capacity testing is very accurate on this one, we will see if we will be able to test the accuracy of, uh, of the different slots. And also the fast charging and all the settings if you want to learn more about how your batteries are doing and test them in different amps to see what they can handle then this is something really really cool really thank you sky rc for making this product i bought this with my own money of course because i don't have any followers yet uh, but there will be more cool stuff like battery chargers and dischargers so please uh, recommend me stuff Oh, and there you go. Uh, this one also uh, has a PC link. We won't be testing that because we don't have a good PC here yet. And here you can use it as a power bank. And here you can see that the Bluetooth is either on or it's connected to the phone. Fucking awesome. I might buy even more of these.
but I'm gonna test them for a few weeks and maybe we will be reselling them in Sweden, Scandinavia, if we can get them at a fair price.